Denise from GoPlanetEarth.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to make 3D floral soaps for spring. This is an easy project to do using our newest silicone border molds. Let's take a look at what we need to do. The first step is to cube the melt and pour soap base. We're going to use an opaque white for this project. You will need one pound of white melt and pour soap base, four ounces of clear soap base, a microwave and glass measuring cup, assorted non-migrating soap colors, soap fragrance, silicone border molds, a square or a circle mold, and I prefer the Mold Market brand. And all of these supplies are available online at GoPlanetEarth.com. Place the cubed white soap in a measuring cup. Microwave it in short bursts, being careful not to overheat it. Once the soap is melted, remove it from the microwave and allow it to cool to a temperature of around 140 degrees. Then add the soap color and the fragrance. A soap injector tool is handy when you're working with small and intricate mold cavities. It gives you better control over where you want the soap to go. You don't want to allow the soap to harden in the syringe, so keep a cup of hot water near your workstation so you can immediately clean the syringe once the mold cavities are filled with the soap. To clean, just pull back on the plunger and pump hot water into the syringe area. Continue doing this until there is no soap residue left in the syringe area. At this point, the injector tool is ready for another color. While you're waiting for the various shapes to set up in the silicone molds, it's a great time to pour the base soap. I used white soap for the circle shape, but any color can be used. Melt the soap in the microwave, add fragrance, and pour the soap into the mold cavities. The mold market square or circle mold cavities holds about 4 ounces of melted soap. I added 2 teaspoons of fragrance oil to 1 pound of soap base. Be careful not to oversaturate the soap with fragrance. 2 teaspoons of fragrance should be plenty. Alrighty, it's time to start assembling our 3D flower soaps. Remove all of the pieces from the silicone border molds. Then release your circle soaps from the mold cavities. I like to play around with all of the pieces to determine the best arrangement. And while doing this, melt the 4 ounces of clear soap. Do not add color or fragrance. This clear soap is going to be the glue that holds all the pieces in place. Once you've arranged the soap pieces, coat the back side of each piece with a clear melted soap. A craft brush works well for this, or you can carefully dip each piece on the underside in the clear soap base. Work quickly to position the decorative soap pieces onto the base soap. You don't want that clear soap to set up before you have secured it in place. These 3D floral soaps are done in layers. This means you will want to start with the most bottom layer of the decorative pieces and work your way up. Snip the ends of the branches to fit the base soap. Then smooth the snipped ends with a small amount of water applied to your fingertips. Continue applying the soap layers until you have the desired 3D effect. Be sure to wrap your soaps with stretch wrap once they are finished. I offer a tutorial on how to wrap oddly shaped soaps on the GoPlanetEarth.com website. Check out the resource link for a complete list of tutorials. That's it for this soaping session.